Vio is an internet television company based in San Diego, California. It allows users to find and watch major studio content, independent productions and user-generated material. The company is a subsidiary of Israeli startup QLIPSO. The company received media attention after Michael Eisner, a former Disney chairman, joined the board. In April 2006, he was one of the investors in the 12.5 million US dollars second round of financing for VO and reaffirmed his status in August 2007 as an investor in the company's 25 million US dollars Series C financing round. In 2008, the website VO.com attracted approximately 17 million unique visitors monthly according to a Quintcast.com study. On February 11, 2010, in an open letter published on his blog, company founder and former CEO, Dmitry Shapiro, indicated that the distraction of the legal battles, and the challenges of the broader macroeconomic climate have led to our Chapter 7 bankruptcy. On April 7, 2010, it was announced that Israeli startup company QLIPSO acquired VO for an undisclosed sum. QLIPSO aims to use the acquisition to add users and revenue to its multi-user content sharing service. Included with recent installations of VO is a program called Open Candy, which some security programs, including Microsoft Security Essentials, classify as adware. It also installs Delta Search, setting all the users' browsers to use an add and tracking loaded search engine without prompting for user confirmation. History Vio was founded by Dmitry Shapiro. The company launched an early version of its distribution technology in September 2005 and debuted its full beta service in March 2006. Vio officially launched in February 2007. Vio has raised about US$70 million US dollars from venture capital and media investors. Time Warner, Michael Eisner's Tornanty Company, Spark Capital, Shelter Capital Partners, Tom Freston's Firefly 3 LLC, Jonathan Dolgen, Intel, and Goldman Sachs are all major investors. In addition to the user-generated content that VO broadcasts, VO has distributed content from major media companies including CBS, ABC, the WB, Viacom's MTV Networks, ESPN, Fearnet, Billboard, Ford Models, US Weekly, TV Guide, and others. Independent creators found on VO include Next New Networks, 60 Frames, Can We Do That? Goodnight Burbank, and Dave and Tom. In a controversial move, VO made its service unavailable to most markets in May 2008. In January 2009, VO announced a new site including support for iPhone iPod touching the VO Video Compass. Upon introduction, some controversy arose over the lack of friends lists mail services, as well as some video info. In April 2009, following layoffs in November 2008, VO reduced its staff by 25 more to 45 remaining employees and reinstated Dmitry Shapiro as its CEO, replacing Steve Mitgang. On February 11, 2010, it was reported that VO had laid off most of his remaining staff and is currently in the process of filing for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. Viewing Options VO offers two viewing options. The VO.com site allows viewers to watch streaming web video from across the web including via their iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Although somewhat like YouTube, VO.com offers a broader selection of network television content and allows viewers to watch full episodes of TV shows and full-length movies. VO.com hosts a range of programming, from user-generated content to studio content. TV shows are exclusively available for the United States. VO also provided a software application, VOHTV Beta, that enabled leanback and remote controllable viewing of web content. In December 2008, VO transitioned from VOHTV to the VO Web Player. VO restricts users from playing full length videos on VO.com unless the VO Web Player is installed within their browser. The player also enables users to download video from VO.com and other websites. VO Web Player comes with VO Video Compass, many times full versions of the show are not available directly on the website and instead only offer to those who have downloaded and used their software to access the content. Publishing Videos 
publishers can use their PC to upload videos for distribution. VO transcodes the video file so the video is available on VO.com, streamed on the publisher's own website, and in portable devices like iPhones, iPod Touches, iPods and Sony PSPs. Publishers are able to customize the presentation of their content, automatically publish via RSS feeds, and organize video programming into episodic series or complete channels. Technology VO uses both peer-to-peer -peer and Adobe Flash-based streaming video technologies. VO claims its use of peer-to-peer -peer in the player application enables distribution of longer-form video files at a much lower cost. It also means that bandwidth costs will not rise in direct proportion to the number of users. VO systems use LAMP and Java. According to the official website, VO is freeware. Equals recommendations engine equals VO's recommendations engine is intended to enable viewers to find content that interests them. The recommendations engine was originally built by co-founder Dr. Ted Dunning, chief scientist for VO. Subsequently it was renovated by John Dim in 2007 and finally restructured, refined, and maintained by Alexander Shibak in 2008 through 2010 utilizing patent-pending cluster identification algorithms. VO recommendations are based on user view history. As users watch videos, the VO recommendation system presents directly relevant video choices based around view histories of users with similar viewing watch patterns. Blocked countries, in late May 2008, VO discontinued service in many countries. The company stated that the decision was made in order to focus on the 34 markets in which it has the most viewers. As of May 31, 2008, upon trying to access the site from a Latvian IP address a screen is displayed, VO is no longer available in Latvia and Mauritius without prior notice, users from these countries were denied the ability to back up the contents they have contributed to the website. As of June 2008, visitors in the vast majority of countries, including Asia, portions of Europe, Africa, Central America, and South America, have reported being blocked or experiencing a similar message for their region. Gord Pays, a spokesperson told NewTV.com the markets we are exiting collectively represent less than 10% of our viewer base. She maintained that the decision was not about saving resources but rather refocusing those resources. Recently, however, the restriction has been removed from certain territories such as Puerto Rico. Indian users have reported that the VO restrictions were lifted for a month, yet came back in August. As of March 30, 2009, VO also blocked the Czech Republic, Lebanon, Malaysia and Serbia. Egypt, Romania, Martinique and Pakistan were also blocked in June. Turkey, Thailand and UAE were blocked as of October 2009. The ban on Malaysia has since been removed. As of September 2010 site was accessible again from Serbia, but starting of December 2010 access was removed once again. VO is also blocked in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, and Mongolia. As of July 26, 2011 service has been restored to these blocked countries. However, as of April 2012, Macau users are still being blocked, with the message VO is no longer available in Macau. If you are not in Macau or think you have received this message in error, please go to VO.com and report the issue. Legal Issues June 23, 2006, IO Group, Inc. filed a complaint against VO Networks, Inc. in the U.S. District Court for California's Northern District. The court has granted the VO's motion for summary judgment that it was entitled to the statute safe harbor provision. September 4, 2007, Universal Music Group Recordings, Inc. AL. Filed a complaint against VO Networks, Inc. AL in the California Central District Court. On September 9, 2009, the court ruled in favor of VO, stating that VO was taking the necessary steps to stop copyright infringement. Universal Music Group planned to appeal the decision. On December 20, 2011, the appeals court upheld the original dismissal. February 12, 2010, VO filed for bankruptcy under Chapter 7 on March 19, 2010. April 8, 2010, VO assets acquired by QLIPSO. 
See also, Comparison of Video Services, Google Video, YouTube, Matecafe, Blip TV, IO Group, Inc. v. Vio Networks, Inc. UMG Recordings, Inc. v. Shelter Capital Partners LLC. References External links, archive page of former VO website, interview with Dmitry Shapiro, CEO of VO in Sokol Tech, VOH on Ubuntu with Wine, video critical of VO's new policy of blocking countries from accessing its videos.